September 15th was the last time I did a podcast on Twitter. And I had it beginning at stage four. So where September? Wow, all the way back here. 12 month three average uh, still going upwards. You, I'll have to recheck that. When would this IPO'd? 2014. Info, info, info. Twitter. Oh, it's not on the NASDAQ. New York Stock Exchange, technology sector, industry, inter internet services. Crazy, crazy release. Oh, look at those long wicks on the monthly, man. That is something to behold. Very, very scary stuff when you see that. Lower highs. Oh. Bounce, lower highs, trying to find its way. And after that, stage four, bottom, bottoming out. Breakout back in January. Up, 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 going away from the 12-month average. Um, almost tweezer tops. And after that, sideways broke down, sideways move, price action below 12 month average, sometimes up 12 month average, still trying to bring that back up, really hogging it. Um, close below, gap down, close above. But right now, you know what's happening is for the 12 month average to keep going up, trending nice, you need price action above it. Once you start hogging it, uh, that's why if you have a close below it, you don't stick around even if it go it could go back up. The trend has taken a hit. It might need some time to recuperate. You want to re-see, reanalyze where the market's gonna define breakout levels, resistance levels. And right here we have one. Look at that. So nice. I'm gonna zoom in. You're entering a stage three. This is stage three action on the monthly chart. Then after that, here, look at the market here. All those wicks above. Noise. Noise. And the more the price action is on the 12-month average or below. Well, look at that. It's actually 12-month average is declining. Uh, going up. So this month, it's actually declining. When we zoom in on the weekly, we're going to start seeing here... Um, the rest of the weight of evidence are we below the Ichimoku cloud, uh, some weekly defined support. But right now on the 12 month average, I'm there. On the monthly chart, I want to see it declining and it is declining. The ultimate breakdown would be a close below 28.25. For the breakout, I want to close above 34.82. But uh, as time moves on, as I'm uh, surveying the markets uh, more acutely, Economic data, we're ending the cycle. Um, unemployment is starting to creep up to twice in a row now. I think we're at 4%. We're at uh, 2.8, 3.8 not too long ago. Uh, Canadian unemployment uh, creeping up. We're at 5.8. I think they had a forecast 5.7. We were at 5.8 unemployment. I, th I think those metrics are going to start turning around. And all with that monthly top there that we had on the NASDAQ on all indexes. Uh, I'm angling more at stage four breakdowns than stage two breakouts. Anything could reverse, but uh, the whole weight of evidence has to shift, not just one or two stocks breaking out or sectors or even an index. The whole weight of evidence has to skew the risk in favor of a stage two continuation. So right now when I'm going to be looking at Twitter, I, I'm identifying that yes, it could be a breakout level, but we have to close above 30.42. And even if, if it breaks out above, I'm going to go through my whole weight of evidence and see how uh, things have changed and uh, if uh, stage twos could be maintained. Because remember, if the overall trend is uh, bearish, even if you have stage two breakouts, like Stan mentioned in his book, uh, instead of giving those uh, exceptional winners, those 30, 40, 50% winners, you're going to, they might be muted to 5, 10, 15%. So you're just lowering your chances of playing stage two breakouts when the overall uh, environment is uh, bearish. All right, all right. So here are my two levels. And where is my arrow? Arrow, arrow, arrow. Whoa. 
copy that for next time. And here is my measure move. And here is my target right here. Oh, there it is. So I have an apply measure move. Added to breakout line, breakdown line. And that's my swing rule. Should bring me back to not quite, but all the way down here to these levels. So I'm just going to measure, keep that here, extend that. And we're going to use that as monthly defined support. So when we start playing around and anticipating and preparing, seeing where it could bounce up and starting to do the, the scribbles, then we know that there's some monthly defined resistance turn support right there. And here's a bigger level off this base, off this breakout candle right here in October 2017, embryonic breakout. We're going to see if we get all the way back down there, guys. All right, Stan Weinstein on the weekly. See, those are tweezer tops. It looks like that, far away from 30 week average. Brought back down and definite stage theory. Look at that, you're hogging. You're not, you're sometimes overperforming, sometimes underperforming the SPX. Price action mostly below 30 week moving average. Uh, here, a little bit above. A little green right here. But you don't have the volume. So remember, stand the weight of evidence. You need a whole bunch of stuff. And um, even here, you could have known that uh, this would have been a false breakout. You wouldn't want to go there. Oh, look at those red, those red candles here on those down days. Green volume going up. And, oh, paste arrow. Oh, I like that. Red volume on those down days, little green volume on those up days. Starting to underperform the SPX. So right now we are in a stage four, guys, on the weekly. You see it right here. We're now that Ichimoku cloud defined support created by uh, this up, these up moves. Well, now it's flipping over. We were through that Ichimoku cloud defined support. So that's one of Stan's tenets. Is there any close uh, support? Well, using the Ichimoku cloud, we see how where how that support evaporates. Now we're carrying resistance. Ichimoku cloud's going to start going downwards. The 30 week average is already going downwards. Price action below. So what we want is a monthly close below 28 to 25. Oh, la, la. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be ideal. Oh, it's going to be tight range after that. Wait for a pullback. Let the 30 week moving average catch back up. And here's your power zone. Close to 30 week, declining 30 week moving average. Now we have that monthly defined support turn resistance so that should back you up big time you have that 12 month moving average will be declining even more so all that's going to create you a big wall so wherever you go so whenever this starts going back down right here your sell stop won't be too far off right above the 30 week moving average and uh, you'll have a good risk to reward entry right there guys downtrend downtrend and after that, oh, maybe down to these lows. And if uh, that uh, previous breakdown, breakout levels, uh, resistance or support holds, we might have some uh, creating a stage three, and then we'll see. Stage threes could last for a long time, or a stage one base. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage one. So you just want to exit, right? As soon as the price action goes above the 30 moving average, you're out of there. You're going to wait for a good single. Um, make sure everything's in your favor, guys. So Twitter, definitely stage four. Um, best best bet is to wait. You're so close to that 28 because this thing could maybe bounce for some uh, bounce off these levels, sink and bounce up, and then you don't want to waste some time. Wait for that, okay, guys? All right, that's it. Short one. See ya, Twitter. Don't go... Bankrupt. Ciao, guys.